What's up guys, Haley Bright here with Newegg TV. Now, as gamers, we are always pushing our systems to the absolute limits. Let's be honest, that is the sign of any serious gamer. So if you guys are the type where you're always striving to achieve new levels of greatness, and I know you are because I read all the comments, you know the importance of having the right liquid cooler to keep that overclocked processor nice and protected. So today I thought we'd take a look at some of our new liquid coolers from Corsair, the 240mm H100i V2, and the larger 280mm H115i. So what do you guys think? You think size matters? Let's go ahead and find out. Now, installing both systems is really easy, but it's like anything, it's not 100% intuitive. So you guys can save yourselves a little time, take a look at the manual. They got a lot of pretty pictures in there, so if you don't even want to read it, you don't really have to, just watch the pictures. Both boxes come with AMD and Intel mounting hardware. We also have a USB cable for Corsair link integration, fan and radiator mounting screws, and of course, you also have your high static pressure air delivery fans and radiator pump combo with pre-applied thermal compound. As far as the cold plates and pump design go, they have been improved to give you guys lower temperatures with less noise, which is always good. And like with the H100i GTX, which we reviewed on a previous segment, the Corsair logo on the pump lights up nice and pretty. You can also customize the LED to pretty much any color of the rainbow you guys want. And you can set it to alert you when your temperatures get too high. That's one of the best things about this. As far as setting up your Corsair link, you want to attach the USB cable to your motherboard, download the free software, and then from there you'll be able to pretty much do anything. You can keep an eye on your temperatures, you can adjust the fan speed, you can change the pump lighting. You can basically do everything from the comfort of your desktop. Now as far as aesthetics goes, not a whole lot's changed in the redesign of the H100i GTX, but here we get to showcase our individuality just a little bit. Corsair offers different colored inserts for the radiator and the pump cap, but you gotta buy these separately. As far as the tubing goes, I feel like it may not be as flexible as what you guys are used to, which could be a little frustrating when you're installing it, but on the plus side, that's really durable, which is nice. Okay, so now that we've basically covered what these two products have in common, I think let's go ahead and talk about the big difference here, which is size. The H100i V2 has a 240mm radiator with dual SP120L PWM fans that hit over 2400 RPMs. And then we have the H115i, which has a 280mm radiator with dual SP140L fans that top out around 2000 RPMs. So basically, what does that mean in terms of cooling performance? Well, at least in this case, I feel like bigger really is better. Surface area is basically the key when it comes to keeping things cool, so the additional size of the H115i allows for Corsair's best and quiet performance. So I think if you guys have the space, definitely go with the H115i, but you know, let's be honest, not every unit can handle something that big. So if you're working with something that's smaller, which is nothing to be ashamed of, we have the H100i V2. This should be able to work just fine for you guys. I mean, you might have to deal with a little bit more fan noise there, but that's about it. So there you have it, two new great cooling systems, the H100i V2, which is basically the same as the H100i GTX with a few minor tweaks. So if you guys are ready to upgrade, nice unit. Otherwise, you have the H115i. Definitely can't go wrong there. Guys, thanks for watching. Leave me a comment down below. I do read all of them. Let me know which one you want to try out. And also, don't forget to subscribe, because why not? Again, I'm Haley Bright with Newegg TV, and I'll see you guys back soon. Bye!